Hello, everybody. All right, I'm going to continue working on some prep for the journals, the Daphne's Diary Inspired journals. Um, I have the cover on for Rosie, so it's all ready to go. I really like it, and ready to put a charm or some kind of uh, beads or something on the bottom. And here's the one for Abby, all sewn in really like it like them both a lot so this is Rosie I did happen to have an R index card I should look for more index cards so what I'm doing is getting things ready because then I want to once the journaling cards are all sewn I'll be distressing all of this stuff but in the meantime I need to get things ready <coughs> this is going to <coughs> just get put in clipped in or whatever so these I don't have to do anything to uh, I've got some things that are gonna be tags so let me just work on this stuff that is for this particular journal so I'm just gonna do what I usually do when I start is I just stick things down um, to the paper that I want to use. Uh, this one I don't need to do anything to except maybe decorate. Anything I'm going to decorate, I'm just going to set aside. Um, let me grab all my extra papers that I can put things on. Oops. A bunch of stuff here I didn't need to work on. Okay, this, this goes here. All right, let me get all my little papers together for um, working on this stuff. Okay, so um, let's just do what we can to start. Now these are going to be tags. So I have to put something on the back so it can be used as a tag. And I was thinking... It would be really nice to put some of my papers. These are like different sizes. Um, so some are mostly the same size, but I was really wanting to do maybe one of each. One for her and then one for um, Abby. And then I'll sew around it. So all I need to do is just get some glue on here and get that started. This is a sheet of a piece of my eco dyed paper. Okay, then this one can just go on a regular piece of this which is just about the right size, which is kind of nice. That doesn't always happen. So that will be this one, some tea, tea dyed paper. Let's try and get this exactly right so that any, I have to trim a little bit. Okay, so those are tags. Then I have, um, these are going to actually, I have to use something else because, um, well, these are going to be journaling cards. So I'm just going to get the little, get them kind of tacked down on here. Put those exactly right. I figure I can at least get, you know, a little bit taped. I have a meeting I'm going to tonight, so I will not be able to, um, doing much more taping except a little bit now before I have to go. So I want to be sure I get things ready. All right. Tack her down a little bit. 
I would usually do that the adhesive roller, you know, tape runner, adhesive runner on these, but you know what? They don't, it doesn't always stay because it's a, it's the kind that you can like is repositionable. So sometimes when I'm sewing and stuff, it moves and this way I won't have that problem. And this is all I have, almost all I have left. Um, get these done, distress everything, make the tags and um, a couple of other embellishments that are going in here. And that is about it, which is nice, you know, just, I'll get these off. I'm really, really hoping I can mail these on Friday. Um, Honestly, it just depends if I can get them all done between today and tomorrow and maybe a little bit on Thursday. Um, if I can do that, then I will be able to get them mailed off, which would be wonderful. I would really like that. I felt like I took a long time <laughs> doing these, so I would like to be able to send them on their way to the lovely ladies. So, yep, that works. Just kind of like using as much of my paper as I can. Oh, we've had some cold days. I tell you, it just feels more like ever since November, the beginning of November, it has felt more like January than November except for a few warmer days that we were blessed with. But yeah, it's just not been the best of weather this year. Just cold. If that means less snow, then I'm not going to complain too much. Um, we are getting snow, it looks like, on Saturday. Probably our bigger, biggest snowfall so far this year, which is only like three inches of snow. So it's not um, really a lot, but if it does snow that much, my husband's gonna be in taking care of clearing snow at the college. All right, let's see. <clears throat> Got some more pieces I can put in here. Just grabbed a bunch of things that I printed out and thought would be fun. Some are free. Um, a few I paid for, like the dragonfly stuff I paid for. Might be Artie Mays. I, I'm not really sure. That's just the dragonfly. Most of the other I just, you know, had. Okay, so I'm not going to put... I usually do these journaling cards and I make them... I put paper on the one side, but this is so old and cute. I'm just going to send it. I'm not going to put paper in it. I'll just find a different way to use it but I do these playing cards got a few playing cards I'm putting in this time they're always fun to put in I, I really enjoy making journaling cards out of the vintage playing cards because I can just you know they're just cute 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 they're fun to, fun to work with. Um, I'll just leave the extra space and trim it and better to be safe with this stuff. I think I can just trim around these so, and ooh, that just fits. Oh, that's good. All right, perfect. Let's see what else we can use of my paper. This one will work. And this one. are very cute vintagey looking this one 
already has a um, sticker paper on it, so um, that'll be easy. I'll just stick it right onto this. I printed it on sticker paper. I think I was gonna just try something. I don't know. Anyway, I would rather have it. that little bit off. I have an envelope. I will be using that um, for something else to put something in. So that goes aside. Um, the only other things I have are these three pieces of vellum that I printed on. So they are going to have to be on here. And that doesn't show, I'm pretty sure. So that's really good. So we'll just bring this right as close to the edge as I can. And that's kind of cool, actually. I think that'll make a kind of a cool journaling Hard, actually. All right. And one more for the owl. And that's pretty much how I set them up. And then I cut around them and I sew around the edges. And then I distress. And I like doing it that way. I think it works. It works really well. All right, so I'll have my husband pick up some blades for me tonight when he's out because he'll be near Michael's and I printed him off a coupon so he would have a coupon. Yeah, so you just trim it up and then I will be taking these pieces to the sewing machine so that I want to get them all done so tomorrow, probably tomorrow night when I'm watching some TV. That's always a really good time for me to sit and do the distressing. I love the way this looks. I really, really do. And especially with that graph paper showing through, I think it looks really cool. Very much. All right. And let's do this. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty much right, but I think we'll just give it a trim to be on the safe side. All right, and the same thing here. Just give it a little trim. All right, and Here, and here, okay, I like that. Okay, so those are ready. Lots of stuff to do. Let's see, these get sewn. The others don't get sewn. Those do. And just gonna have to go over here a little bit because I've got that hole and the glue was of the sticker was kind of sticking over that which we don't need okay oops let's see anyway I think I've mentioned that my granddaughter is turning seven next Monday so she's got a whole bunch of her birthday celebrations are actually this week so there's the Build-A-Bear with some four of her friends on Saturday at the Build-A-Bear Cafe so which is really cool at the Mall of America so that will be fun for them and then Sunday with the grandmas and her mom and a friend um, at the American 
girl store for birthday for her doll, her and her dolls. <laughs> so that'll be fun. Lots of good stuff going on. Okay. Just keep going here. We need to do. This one seemed to be pretty much spot on. Almost. Yeah, so, because I want to get these done. I've been working on them before work, if I have time, and after work, and after supper, and just whenever I get a little spare time. Yeah, and then with the cards, I had to be real careful because I don't want to actually cut the card, but I just want to get it trimmed as close as possible. And then I just, um, I just round around the edges. So it's pretty simple. Usually by the time I get home, I have half hour to 45 minutes before my husband gets home. So that gives me a little bit of time just to do something quick like this. If I, you know, if I got a project I'm working on this one okay are so cute. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see what's next. I have this one. Guess we better do this one like this. Good. One more card. All right. But yeah. And then, see, these, this was something I wanted. I'm really uh, ahead of schedule if I'm getting this done before December. So then December gives me the opportunity to... Well, I have a lot to do. Saturday, I want to get the Christmas cards that I designed already um, to mail. And then, um, so that's going to be working on those. But I also want to um, start doing a little more on the two winter nature journals I'm working on. Um, so I'm hoping I will have some time on Saturday. But I have to, well, you know what? I forgot I had to bake cookies because I'm doing the next weekend. I'm doing a cookie exchange, Christmas cookie exchange. So I have to be baking as well. I don't get to just, I don't get to just sit back and play in my craft room the whole time. <laughs> cookies take more time to do, so I had to, you know, concentrate on the cookies. Um, I'm doing thumbprint cookies. I'm gonna do. Some different variations of the thumbprint cookies. It's my, that's my plan. So they look really good, and I want to make enough that I can use them for, you know, different occasions. Plus, you know, there'll be the, you know, cookie exchange. It means I'll get cookies too. But since I'll be giving some of mine away there, I want to make extra for. Um, work and the apartment office and some to take to family events so that's um, kind of what I'm thinking do 
check my time pretty soon. See, see where we're at here with time. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep going as long as I can. I save all my bigger scraps of these, and then I can do use them for different um, journaling stuff, which is really nice. I do like that. Okay. This one. Yeah, it looks like we need to do a little bit there. December's busy. It just, it just is a busy month. You know, there's no getting around it. <laughs> oh, gotta get the grocery list because my husband's gonna pick up groceries when I'm at the meeting tonight. So I need to have that ready as well. There we go. Cool. I love the way that this eco dyed paper looks on the back of some of these things. Cool. Okay, so that is done. All the ones um, for Rosie have to be sewn and distressed. Tomorrow I'll do my regular journaling. Oh, as well, I gotta do my regular journaling video tomorrow too. So there are things to do. And then this is the ones for um, Abby. Because I have this. It's going to, I was thinking work on here but it's not big enough I need you no know, I need a wider one so I'm gonna have to look around and see this is the skinnier one but none of these are they're all too skinny so I will have to look around for the right piece for that but other than that um, let me see how long I've been going. Um, I'm gonna call that it, I think. I'm trying to think what my, oh, I have a little more time. Let's just use it, right? All right, so I have, I can do this actually. We'll just, We'll just go down here and that will be fine. All right, and then this one, um, it looks like I can do this. So we will just go like that. Okay, oops, I'm trying to get it straight on here. And then I can put um, a card. Now I gotta remember um, the things that don't, that wait. So that and this, these all wait. Hmm, you know what? I think I mixed this up. These were for Rosie's and I got them mixed up. So, because I want, 
Oh, because these can be just writing and I don't have to like do anything but fold them. So I don't need to do any stitching on those or these. Okay, let's put those where they go. All right, that's all for that. So I was trying to figure out. Um, here we have this again with the vellum. This time I'm going to put it on this one on the clear side. And the owls I'll put on the side with the graph. So, just love the way it looks. And the birds. I just think it looks cool. Alright, so we have that. This one is going to... Um, oh, I was going to put some pieces on here. Um, this one. And I don't think... Nope, that's all. Alright, um, what else? What else? This is a good piece. This will be good for the cards. I'm just going to do this and cut around them. I think it's, I think it's just easier. Alright. And looks like I can put a card on this one. Actually, let's put it on this one. And I think, I think I can, I think I can put two, okay, let's try that, yeah, that works, alright, and do, 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 all the rest seem to be a little bigger. Okay, so that means we're just going to have to do these here. So we'll do this. Okay. This one. was supposed to put some of these. I just feel like I got too many of these. I think I was supposed to put some over. I don't know. Oops. Okay, that glue's done. Done, done. At least try and get these glued down before my husband comes home. I don't know. Oh yeah, I got a few more things here. I see. Yeah. Plenty. Plenty. All right. Now here, I want to cover this up. So, it's going to go like that. And like this. We're almost there, and then I've got some little pieces, I think, I think, will they fit? Yeah, I'm just going to trim them so they fit. I think that will be fine. I'm mostly concerned I get the stamp part in, so we'll just go like this. A little bit. 
done. Like that. And one more. All right. Good. Because when I start sewing, I'm just going to go like crazy on the sewing. It's like the easy, the easy part <laughs> is the sewing. But anyway, I hope, you know, if you're watching this, that you're just, you know, taking time to do some crafting of your own and uh, kind of listen to my rambling or <laughs> hope you don't mind my rambling. I just, I don't know, I like to do it. I feel like then I'm working with somebody, not by myself, which is nice. All right, let's see. Just get those pieces off. A little bit of glue, of course. Okay. Get done what I can. And then maybe before work, I'll have a little bit of time. I can do some of the sewing, which would be awesome. Oops. These are little ones, very little. In fact, I'm kind of tempted to just leave this like that instead of separating it. I think it would be kind of cool. All right. Yeah, and then the next thing I'll be showing you will probably be it will probably be the flip through or there might be one more process video. I'm not really sure yet. Um, I guess that just remains to be seen what what happens. There, that worked out really nice. I like that. All right. Lots to do, lots and lots to do. Oops. Anyway, is everybody ready for December? Are you guys early Christmas shoppers or late Christmas shoppers? Oh, my husband's home. Oh, I'm recording, be out in a sec. Anyway, I tend to wait till for sure in December. I don't rush too much, I guess. But I don't have a lot to buy for, so it's probably why I don't have to worry so much. This one is decidedly crooked. Um, but that's just my, my style. Anyway, I guess that's it for me. I need to get my get things taken care of and get a move on for the afternoon and evening so I will see you next time bye